so we going to start with an um, uh, this is actually place holder for the different lightning talks and uh, we would expect the customers or the anyone want to share their um, uh, interesting things which we uh, done for their customers uh, which is something new or something like not been done for the many customers and uh, so in that lightning talks i would like to bring mohan um, so he actually done some um, very cool uh, thing which is um, built for a customer and where they uh, actually developed an embargo workflow this is really really um, find a cool feature or cool thing uh, they built it for the customer yeah over to you uh, mohan so sure thank you venu okay welcome everyone uh, thanks for joining this session uh, okay so today i'll i'll talk about this embargo how we control publishing uh, everyone knows about uh, like how we control through workflow but here we have one interesting topic for how we do it uh, at the, another one level so first let me introduce myself uh, myself mohan kushwa i am senior technical consultant in uh, rws as a former sdl and it's been a pretty long time working with uh, sdl and other wcm in market and working for multiple customer for customization and other uh, multiple uh, development related uh, stuff so i'll i'll move to the uh, main topic what we have today so it is basically embargo uh, what is the role of embargo to to control the publishing uh, basically we have uh, this feature just to enable uh, how we do this uh, if we do any publishing for any content uh, we can make that uh, available only when there is a tag uh, which is controlling that so basically embargo tag which is we are we have configured it through a keyword and we are setting up some uh, date tag basically that is controlling a live target even accidentally if someone publishes anything it will it won't go live uh, without this tag so let's say we have any product launch on any date and on a specific time then uh, we can make sure it it won't get accidentally published by any author or anyone so uh, first of all what is embargo data uh, let me talk about this so basically uh, everyone might be aware of this embargo keyword embargo embargo word so embargo is basically a topic which cannot be shared on a on a public meeting or until it is uh, released basically to a uh, to a to publicly so basically uh, we need to make sure uh, whenever we have our uh, secure data it won't go pub uh, it won't get published to uh, to anyone to outside the world until our uh, release date so this is basically a, a heard of this session so why we need this embargo tag so whenever we have any um, any product launch on a specific time or date then everyone want to make sure it won't get announced before the timeline let's say i have uh, some product launch on 15th august then i'll i'll have to make sure it won't go uh, pub publicly before that so so it will make sure uh, it won't get accidentally published so here uh, why we need when we say so basically uh, it only goes for uh, whenever we have uh, any workflow uh, so basically it will it will go through workflow and only approved content will go go to live not any uh, like if we like we have to go through workflow and if uh, if someone rejected those it won't go uh, it won't go to the next level even if get approved then we need to make sure it uh, aligns with the embargo date and time then only it will it will go to uh, publishing queue and it it get success so we'll make sure it won't get uh, accidentally published and also uh, the last one which is uh, ex expiry date and time so 
we can configure in a two way one as a global date uh, i have a set of 20 markets then with the one date i can control all the markets and even i have another way where i have uh, some of the market which are deviating with that timeline let's say i mentioned 15 august for one product launch and if some of the product which uh, customer want to go to on uh, next month 15 that is uh, 15 september then uh, we have another way to control that through market batch i'll come to that uh, in the next slides okay uh, i'll i'll go through this uh, as a problem statement what we what we did for uh, customer and what was the requirement uh, and how we implemented that. So there is a requirement from editing team to control this uh, uh, publishing uh, because they have a lot of authors who could uh, publish anything on uh, production, like in production environment. And if uh, let's say they have, uh, they have multiple structure group and we have some of the pages uh, like on those uh, structure group um, if somebody accidentally publish those uh, then we then we we need to control that so that is uh, one requirement and they need to make sure only group only some specific user or group can update or remove those embargo tag because if uh, we need to make sure those uh, those tags those dates are controlled by uh, controlled by uh, a specific group who could uh, make sure it is uh, it is correct and also uh, there is another piece of requirement is to uh, make sure it is controlled through a blueprinting a top level content like uh, embargo tag should be created at master content level so that all the markets uh, can be covered under that and there is another one which is a market batch which i briefly mentioned uh, Apart from one global date, we should have market batches to cover for different market for different go lives. Okay, so this is basically a problem statement uh, for this. And if I talk about how we did implemented this, so uh, we have basically created uh, some launch uh, date, like uh, there is a global date and a there is a multiple uh, for multiple market we have created a batches just to make sure uh, we 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 cover for all the markets and this can be done through uh, uh, there is a one release metadata we created on a on maybe i'll i'll come to those uh, slides uh, later to to showcase how we created that and uh, also we we need to make sure uh, those expiry dates are met to uh, for for global and for market batch specific i'll okay uh, i'll come to this slide uh, before i explain about this uh, basically how it works so we need to create a keyword just to make sure uh, if you see this there is a this is a nothing but a keyword for one specific launch. And you can see there is a some launch date. Either we can put it some launch date or not, but it, it doesn't matter because uh, we need to make sure this date is correct. Uh, system will check this, uh, publish this date, which is a global date for, uh, for any specific market. So you see, whenever we create this keyword, uh, we need to make sure this global date is uh accurate because this will make sure content won't go publish before this date like uh, this is the 18th may so content will won't go publish even accidentally before this and if they have some deviation in the market let's say uh, this global date will cover for all let's say we have 20 markets it will cover for all all the 20 markets and if we have some of the market, like you see here, uh, available option. So we have created a market uh, segments like this. I'll come into the next topic, like next slide, how we did that. So this will basically populate all those markets and we need to just drag to the right side to make sure it is selected. So for these three markets, uh, I have different dates. Like you see here, global date is uh, uh, May, but here, uh, it's a 28 December is the uh, 
uh, date for these three markets only to make sure this deviation we met uh, during this timeline. But I have some more customer uh, which like they do not want to go to this global. Uh, they don't want to go live on this global date. They don't want to go to this uh, even this date, but they have some of the market like DEN. They want to move it on 30th of December. So in that way, we can we can make sure all these uh, batches we can we can just separate it out and we can create a multiple batches only if there is a deviation in the go live date for multiple markets. If if there is only one date, we don't need to select these. Uh, we don't need to select this uh, control market for missing. Like I I don't have any requirement like any any deviation for a different market, then I, I can just select one date that is a global date and yeah, we are good. And it will it will make sure uh, content won't get published uh, beyond this. But uh, uh, we need this uh, market specific thing only when we, uh, we have uh, this deviation. I, I can come to, okay, so basically let me uh, brief uh, what are the processes we follow when uh, when we do this so we need to create this tag like i mentioned tag is nothing but a keyword and 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 we need to put this uh, keyword into a component when we create a component we need to add those uh, add that keyword into a metadata of that component like i i can show it here you see there is a keyword which being uh, which is being added into uh, into a component. You see, this is the same keyword. Uh, this is basically a drop down where we can see uh, see this keyword. We need to select like what exactly the uh, the 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 tag uh, I I want to use. I can have multiple tags. Let's say I have some product with different dates, but I need to choose which one I'm going to utilize for this particular component. And, and the next one is also we need to make sure this is approved. If this is unapproved, it won't go to the next next level. So if I come to this, uh, how it works again. So we need to create a, a tag and then uh, we need to create a component. Component should be added to component metadata. And then uh, we need to add this into a workflow bundle just to make sure it, it gets approved. If uh, if it won't get pub, uh, approved, then uh, there is no point in going to the next level because uh, content won't get published. Once it is approved, then uh, then we need to like uh, we can add those uh, component into a uh, into a page. And if we publish those uh, like that page to to preview and live preview, it it will get published to preview, but it won't get published to live target until those conditions are met. The the tag, expiry date of tag, and uh, if it is approved, like here, page won't get published to live until embargo tag expiry. So basically, this is a uh, uh, key thing about this. And also uh, some of the uh, some of the areas I wanted to cover uh, in between, like this for for this keyword, we like I already mentioned, these are the two key things: uh, global date and market batch. We need to uh, create in our uh, release metadata schema when we create and uh, and keyword to tag the component. That is a key thing we need to tag into a component. And one page can have multiple such component. Let's say I have uh, 10 different component presentation in a page. Then uh, even if one component gets, uh, if one component is not approved, that page won't go publish. So, so for that page to get published, uh, it should have all 10 pages approved and all uh, expiry date of that uh, embargo tags are, uh, are met. So if those are expired, then only it get published. In order to fetch these uh, available options, we have written an event system code to uh, to, to basically uh, populate this, uh, uh, and 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 we we have written in such a way that even this tag, this date, and this date, uh, this cannot be lesser than that. This date 
always be a higher like uh, if if this global date is uh, recent date then it, this can be uh, later dates at this market is specific so these are the things which we have control through a, uh, event system so if i move to the next slide yeah so these are some of the market uh, you see on the left side we have uh, created uh, through linkupad script uh, and we have added those uh, uh, these are nothing but uh, one key which we 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 have uh, we have we have got this information from the publication and this is uh, just to identify uh, what is this market and this will ensure uh, this correct market will get picked up from here you can see so these are uh, basically this available options are coming from that uh, market uh, market category and that that will populate and we can select it from here and this will have the publication uh, publication path so that we can we can just uh, put a condition in our code in dotnet code so that uh, we can fulfill this okay so with this most of the things i have covered yeah uh, we have noted on some of the scenarios like uh, just to make sure uh, what are the conditions we uh, like we we keep it just just uh, scenarios to cover like if we have just to explain if it is not clear like when we have a global date which is one week later then these markets won't get published let's say we have 10 more market nothing will get published because uh, we have date which is a later than the current one so we can tag we can put it into a workflow and if those are published but still, because of this one week ahead date, nothing will get published. Uh, if uh, coming to the ne next one, if I have uh, any date which is uh, global date which is expired, then it will look at the market batch because if it is expired, then all the market can be published. But some of the market are in a deviation mode, like those are under market batch. Even the market batch is expired for DE, then yeah, we are good to. Uh, good to see that it get published because uh, this is uh, uh, this has already been expired. Uh, coming to the third one, if I have this B, then uh, here it is plus two weeks. That means whatever we have with B, it won't get published because of this. It doesn't matter whether pages are approved or not, but it it won't get published because of that. And there is one more uh, I have just considered to make sure content even. Keyword won't get published if there is a uh, market batch which is uh, lesser than the global reveal date. So this is all about uh, embargo tax for market. So how we can control that. I'm ready for any questions if you have. Yeah, thank you, Mohan. It's a great presentation and uh, it's uh, definitely the one of the requirement for the many customers, especially in the regulatory industries where they need yeah. to have a uh, certain content to go on a certain time after that it need to be expired and this should be done. I have a, I didn't see any questions coming, but I have a question for myself. Yeah. Um, suppose if you're working in a different time zones, mm -hmm. how, how we handle that one? For example, your editor is in the, the expiry date is a little different, right? I mean, uh, by the time, the, uh, for example, in IST or Indian time zone, by the time my days ends, then, but the New Zealand, the next day is started already. So how, is there anything you kind of handle those kind of situations as well? Yeah, so it is basically, uh, it will take the system time where we have uh, like for, like we control our publishing for a different market. When we schedule it, it, it just takes care of from the system, like, and it will, it will check from the specific time zone. So we don't need to do much just in our code we have handled. So already it is taking care of that, like how we should do the publishing for any particular market. So in the same way, uh, it is considering the, for those markets. So. Yeah, that's good. That, that's, I don't know my question, but I did not see any questions, but I saw the, some comments that, uh, yeah, the, it's, they, sound, they find it, it's a really good solution and good solution to implement it for customers. And yeah, I also see that um, someone thanking you for that, the good presentation as well. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Venu. 
let's give yeah. in a minute for another minute yeah. just to say, uh, see sure. that if anyone has any last minute questions. Yeah, if, if yeah. any questions on a later stage, yeah, we are here. You can drop me a note. I can respond. Yep. Sure, I think I'm sure after this presentation, the, you will get a more question. Like, okay, they want to implement that yeah. similar solution, how you can press. But by the way, do you want to plan to, or did you write any blog on this or any any kind of uh, information you put it on I, the community side? I, right, I haven't written a blog because recently we, we went live. So I wanted to, uh, like, I need the time to uh, just just write a blog and I'll, I'll do this in a couple of, and sure, the because it's quite a quite use. Really... Yeah, it's a quite a useful thing, and uh, people would love to see that how they can leverage this yeah. same solution in their projects as well. So yeah, uh, as a, your next target, definitely please publish yeah. this in a blog and then uh, in a, our community dot com so you can uh, put it there as well. So it's yeah. definitely one of the candidates should be part of those uh, blog posts. Sure. I don't see any further questions. Um, yeah, then I would like to thank you very much uh, for your uh, presentation, Mohan. Sure. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everyone.